There we go. Beautiful Mount Baker. Alongside the Fraser River. A highway that connects all through Canada. And what we have down here is we have a look that I'm just registering. If you look carefully, try to use a 3D perspective. Put my hand here just to give you an idea. And see these few rocks here? See if, uh, say if I pull out this bigger one, you see how those ones could all tumble? Maybe a look over here, you see like if I took out that one, these ones would all roll. Tumbling, tumblers. Right over here, look at this uh, patch of them, right, right there. That big rock. Okay, there's the big rock. So I hop over. Yeah, right there. You see those group? That group right there. And then these couple. You pull out that one there, and they all tumble. The difference of a real rock, even with the dikes, the difference is we stack them in a in a way that you can tell they're stacked. Here, what they're how they're collected and stored here is they're placed in a way that they to me I started thinking is that on purpose setting up avalanche mentality all the time see what I'm saying and you know certain amount of sizes of beings can hide and live in there so anyways what has happened here is you see this big beautiful patch of rock that has been staying the same size except for that stuff growing into this area in a slow manner I'm gonna hit pause as I look to the other oh just hang on for the road it's gonna be a noisy train the rivers uh, you know this is not much different than just a high tide anyways but the river has been just sitting like this up and down a little bit because the tide will affect it. I'm sure when the river's higher like this then the tide actually probably affects it down into um, um, yeah or up into Chilliwack there. Anyway so if we look at this this is always changing and I talked a lot about it look at the mud there we're going to think, oh no, that's just because of the... No, it's, it doesn't pack a bunch of mud. Look what it packs. It just packs all the dust. It, if it had a bunch of mud, we would see a whole bunch of those plants all getting bit, um, weighed down and buried down. But you're not seeing any of that. All you're seeing is a certain amount of sand and sloppy stuff, I think, from digging. Maybe it is just from the river. You can ignore that part. The point is... See how this corner's been being kept and being changed and manipulated? Why the rest of it is all a big fight for the city again. And if you've looked at my videos before, just look and see if you recognize any of these rocks to be the same rocks. Right in the front sections and stuff. Because we have those super gigantic... Okay, look, hold on for a second. There's some of the big ones, whether they're the same, the same ones or not, because they know I watch this stuff. I'm going to show you something, you guys, that's kind of hilarious, that stays the same in so many ways all the time. But so we see this, you know, it's going to be changed. Look at the thickness of the sand there. I think it's just a throwing up message for us. Oh, look at that, eh? Fresh break, um... Right there in that, is that the right one? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Sorry about that, but I gotta really see where I'm seeing. Right there in that corner, you see that? All broken off there. Looks like they broke off the top of the next one. Because they're always chipping, they're always working. There's a lot of them, you guys. So a lot of the stuff we see here can be digging out from underneath and put up there, is what my thought is. That's how I figure it going, right? And then if we jump over to this side, this pile here is always changing under this building. It's gone from being bigger rock to just that small. 
up in that area mostly there and then this is what it is and it changes like I've never seen that beautiful square edge before I notice those kind of things I've never noticed that nice square edge there on that rock it's just something that really stands out for me and then you look into that girl right there in the middle there the bigger one how chipped up that face is look at that face there so they're breaking them all down and you know these ones might be being just kept being brought out from inside and like in there and reason being is because they like they they will create their own shoring you know they'll look at our shoring systems strength systems and they for carrying big loads you can see a whole bunch of them right here and yeah so they you know they're they're like that they're copycats with engineering um, input so look at this big gap here where that rock you know that stuff's just looking like it's ready to tumble and stuff anyway so that one rock that really stands out I mean there's a few that stand out for me this guy because of the shape of the concrete there zoink and that one there that's standing up it's always stand, or not always but it's in different positions and this little bulge of rock here is taller than it usually is and part of how I get that is because you know I watch how this carries on and I really watch it say from about that right hand corner there you know from center there, corner there now all the way through here kind of really watch it I know it's sitting a little high there and this is a really good comparison spot for me because it's another good memory because I slowly or not slowly they slowly chip away at this corner here that rock used to sit into the into there better I don't know if they were all part of the same rock or not I'm gonna go with no but it did really sit like that and uh, so they've kept that similar design of the two rocks so they're etched like that and yeah so yeah and then our city cleans this up about I don't know if they're up to three times a year but they need to be at least three or four times a year mm-hmm because they don't like it to get all covered in like this and I don't either they don't need to be able to have all this great of hiding and stuff where they're just watching and watching and watching and waiting Tin Man, signing off.